There seems to be an obsession with the demonic nowadays. Do you think people jump to the diabolical conclusion too often? Colin, Go on, Colin. whoever wants yes. to jump in. Um, I mean, one thing about me is that it's very controversial whenever I tell people this, but I just do not believe in demons. So I think that people jump to that conclusion far too frequently in my own perspective. I think there are negative spirits, negative entities, but I don't like using the construct of a demon to describe this energy that we just don't understand. It's like ascribing right. some sort of definition to it that, I mean, you can, people can say that they, they know what a demon is, that they, you know, know what a spirit is, but nobody actually knows at the end of the day. So I feel like most energies are actually positive energies and, and the negative are, are far and few in, in, you know, what I've experienced, but yeah. that's just the way I see it. I mean, a lot of people are different in that for sure. And that's why I get roasted all the time on my channel. People say I'm going to hell, got demons on my back. I'm doing fine. I got a nice, <laughs> I an amazing girlfriend, yeah. a great apartment. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. How about you, Sophia? Um, so I can't for sure say that demons are or aren't real, um, because there are so much unknowns in the paranormal, but I do think that there are a lot of negative spirits. And I think that a lot of times people do stick that label onto them, um, without fully knowing what is actually there. Um, like I said, the spirit in my old house was bad, but I didn't think it was demonic. I thought it was a really creepy person in life mm -hmm. who probably died and was just really creepy after death too. Yeah, we're going to come up on the top of the hour here, but I wanted to get this in real quick. It's in terms of the demonic, if you feel or share the feelings that I do, it's the old saying that we have, you know, assholes in life, assholes in death sometimes. Mm -hmm. We've, you know, if we retain characteristics of our life, it stands to reason that those people who um, were less than um, kind, will maybe continue that personality and characteristic. But a lot of times what happens, what we see is people tend to self-diagnose themselves by mm -hmm. what they read, what they see on TV. You know how it is. You know, I had three flies in my house last night. So suddenly it becomes an infestation. And popular culture influences a lot of people's attitudes toward this. So I think it's exceptionally important that people like all of us try to bring some clarity to this kind of thing. Not saying, as Colin said, you know, I'm not here to judge anybody's belief systems, but I kind of share that attitude with him about the demonic. Yeah, I'm not really all that sure about it, but I know that a lot of people jump to those conclusions. So good question by Christopher.